Some Democrats think that the topic of impeaching President Trump is still, do I want to go on the record? Uh, Radical, kind of uh, might get criticized. Not Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, she was talking about it with Rolling Stone as part of a much bigger interview. And she said, yeah, no question, no question. I don't even know why it's controversial. I mean, okay, it's not that I don't know why it's controversial. I understand that some people come from very tough districts where their constituents are torn. But for me and my community in the Bronx and Queens, it's easy. And she also talked about sort of the stakes in this and why it matters and why we don't have more Republicans coming over and acknowledging the the serious crimes that appear to have been committed as well as his incompetence and all of that. She says in the Republican Party, there's a hostage situation going on. There are a lot of Republicans that know what the right thing to do is, not just on impeachment, but on a wide range of issues and they refuse to speak up. To me, it's an unacceptable position because we're not in the realm of politics anymore. These are not questions of politics. These are questions of society. These are questions of equal treatment. These are questions of civil rights. Referring back to a couple of the big policy issues that have defined the Trump presidency. So to some Democrats, including Nancy Pelosi, that's not difficult. You can can just do that, you can say that. It's not difficult to say like there are there have been high high crimes and misdemeanors. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Acknowledge what is abundantly clear. There are so many, and that's the narrative that's really been emerging lately, which is uh, we why are we waiting on a report from Mueller? Mm -hmm. Because all of those crimes are out there and obvious. And it was most striking to me the other day during the uh, hearing with Michael Cohen at the end, the part that we were covering on the live stream, Mm -hmm. which is one of the many things you get with membership on TYT, um, which is at the end, they're like, I would like these things uh, submitted to public record. And some of those things were tweets that were saying, actually, Michael Cohen was very upset that he didn't get a job. They wanted those tweets Mm -hmm. in the public record. When these the argument from the Republicans is that certain tweets of threats against Michael Cohen and his entire family aren't officially breaking the law when I think we're just picking and choosing. And I guess my more holistic argument would be, of course, we're all picking and choosing. The impeachment is, while it's a, I guess, lawmaker proceeding based on the Constitution, which is like the original law of the land. It is such a political calculation, one that Pelosi has made on her side because she finds herself as more the person who has to keep things even keeled. But Ocasio-Cortez is saying quite explicitly, like, I mean, it's pretty obvious to me. Yeah, and, and there are people, I guess, who have to make that sort of political calculation. But I've said for a long time, from my point of view, I, I don't care about the political consequences. Not that I don't care, but you do not enter into impeaching or not impeaching a president based purely on that. It's based on the substance. Did they commit the crimes? And No one, the Trump's chief defenders seem completely unwilling or uninterested in actually stating that he has not broken the law. They don't, they don't care about that anymore. For them, it is purely political about defending the presidency and by proxy, the Republican Party. There seems to be little disagreement that he has committed the crimes that would merit it. Right. When it comes to high crimes and misdemeanors, you would have to be high to not see his crimes and misdemeanors. Thank you very much for watching this clip from the damage report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full damage report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.